where we look at how many different combinations of things there are. The questions on the board behind me. I've got a menu, and I've got a main course menu with one, two, three, four, five different options, and a dessert menu with four different options in it. And the questions are over this side. And the first question is how many different combinations can I create from my menu? If we have a look at our menu, as I said before, we've got five different options for our main course. Okay? But for each of those options, you can choose all of the four different desserts. Okay? So for the pizza, you can choose all those four. For the chicken pie, you can also choose all of these four. So to actually find the number of combinations in total, what you do is you times the number in this column by the number in this column, and that gives us five times four, which is 20, 20 different options for my menu. The second part of the, um, the question is what is the probability that I choose pasta and then followed by cookies? Okay, and these are the old school cookies. When you want a probability, so we're gonna have probability and we're having pasta and cookies. What you always want is you want, on the top, the numerator, you want how many ways can that happen, okay? And how many ways can I have pasta, um, pasta and cookies? Pasta down here, there's just one option for pasta. There's one option for cookies. So there's just one way I can have pasta and cookies. And then the denominator of my fraction is always the total number of different options you can have. Well, we've already worked that out, 20. So for this question, the probability is 1 over 20. The last part is similar. Okay, the last part says, what is the probability that I choose pizza and a dessert that includes ice cream? Okay, same as before, your numerator has to be the number of ways that that can be fulfilled. So let's look over here. There's one way of choosing pizza, but I've got two different options for choosing ice cream. So there are two ways that I can fulfill this criteria. So I've got the number of ways on the top, and again, the denominator is always the number of total possible outcomes, which is 20, and of course I can simplify that down to 1 over 10. Thank you.